Hi everybody, it's Alicia Jones from Alicia Jones Healthy Living and I'm back! Did you notice I was gone? Because I haven't been around for the past month. If not, that is totally okay, but um, I, I am back. I decided that I needed to take a full month off and that is because I was completely burning out. Um, if you don't know already, uh, I own a in-home personal training business and I have other trainers and myself and everything else that I was taking care of. At the same time, I was working for this new uh, Alicia Jones healthy living blogger, uh, writer and fitness expert and everything was getting all mixed up. All of my goals, all of my visions, all of my time and I was completely burnt out. It's a lot of things all at once and uh, truth be told, I was starting to feel pretty uh, depressed about everything. So I needed to take a step back and figure out what the heck was going on. Um, and I'm really happy I did that because I'm back now and things are a heck of a lot better. I have strong goals, strong vision and a strong idea of this year to come. And uh, I thought, however, that that experience and what I went through was so important to write about because I know a lot of you guys have weight loss goals, fitness goals, and career life goals that as well sometimes things can get fuzzy and you lose focus and you need to regain it once again. And uh, you know, I'm asked a lot as well, is it ever okay if I change my goals or if I, if I decide I don't want that weight loss or fitness goal anymore? And the truth is, it's absolutely okay to ditch your goals there's just a way to do it and a time to do it as well and uh, so of course it's not as simple as that it's uh, a lot more complicated and that is why I wrote this post to hopefully help you guys out uh, it's called is it ever okay to ditch your goals when you have burnout and the answer is yes um, I hope that this post helps you. Please give me feedback on it. I would love it. Uh, it's got some techniques in there as well that I've been using for a very long time and this time it really saved me to do this. So I hope it saves you and uh, I promise in the future my post won't be quite as dramatic or serious and uh, yeah, lots to come. See you soon this year. Bye.